in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. The world billionaire Elon Musk has been talking a lot lately about a new brain implant called Neuralink. He's been giving the world clues on some of the applications he expects will be capable of in the first decade of its product life cycle. Elon's brain chip startup is preparing to launch clinical trials in humans. As we're getting much closer to the first clinical human trials for Neuralink, we can expect things to start becoming clearer on not only what this brain-computer interface technology does, but also how it tends to help people. So what can we expect from this new invention? Well, that's what we'll be discussing in this video. So watch it to the very end because it'll be so exciting. When Elon Musk was recently asked if Neuralink was still on track for the first human trial by the end of this year, his response was simply yes, which makes it so factual. This could be a really good sign because whenever the tech billionaire gives a short and abrupt answer like this, it usually depicts his confidence. So he looks certain that this will be made possible. Around last year, Elon Musk was again asked about human trials of Neuralink. In his response, he wrote, if things go well, we might be able to do initial human trials later this year. On the news earlier this year, Neuralink was hoping to hire both coordinator and director for these clinical trials. In the job hosting, Neuralink says that the director will work closely with top engineers and highly innovative doctors and work with Neuralink's first clinical trial participants. We are aware that the tech billionaire has broadly promised the people that Neuralink will be able to do a handful of things. Yes, it's believed to be able to do everything from enabling telepathic communication communication and curing brain diseases to helping people with spinal cord injuries. Neuralink will also be able to control devices with our thoughts. Also, merging human consciousness with artificial intelligence will be made possible. In fact, this chip is designed even to allow patients with acute paralysis to communicate using their thoughts. Although this Neuralink has a good mission and vision, it is yet to receive approval from the FDA. It was reported that a brain-computer interface startup, Synchron, implanted its first device in a U.S. patient earlier this month, which did overtake Elon Musk's Neuralink for the third time. The startup implanted a 1.5-inch device into an ALS patient's brain at Mount Sinai West Medical Center in New York on July 6th. The major purpose of this device is to make it possible for the patient to communicate by using their thoughts to send emails and texts even after they've lost the ability to move. It was also reported that Synchron had already implanted the device in four patients in Australia. These patients can use the brain implant to shop online and even send messages on WhatsApp. As said earlier, Neuralink has yet to receive FDA approval. The Tesla CEO already predicted that the company could begin human trials as early as 2020, but the prediction was not practical. He also announced in late 2021 that the company planned to start implanting its computer chip in humans by 2022. Well, the announcement came after he shared a video of a monkey playing a video game with his mind through a Neuralink brain chip. Elon is also trying his best to make the device safe for the human body. He said, I think we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone with a spinal cord injury. Neuralink's working well in monkeys and we're doing a lot of testing and confirming that it's very safe and reliable and the Neuralink device can be removed safely. The co-founder and former president of Neuralink, Max Hodak, also revealed that he had invested in Synchron after leaving Musk's startup. Let's see how far it gets. Well, the implants of Synchron and Neuralink have quite similar immediate applications. Both of them are designed to translate human thoughts into computer commands, and they can also help patients with neurological diseases like ALS or Parkinson's. However, the aim of Elon Musk on Neuralink does seem to be a bit more ambitious than Synchron's. Musk claimed that the brain-machine interface could also make humans symbiotic with artificial intelligence and give people telepathic powers. He referred to this device as a Fitbit in your skull. There are quite a number of differences between Neuralink and Synchron's products from the size to the installation process. You can insert Synchron's product into a human skull without cutting into it, and this is possible via a catheter that feeds the device through the jugular vein into the brain's blood vessel. 
while this process does require two separate surgeries. On the other hand, Neuralink aims to create a more powerful and much smaller device that will only require a portion of the individual's skull to be removed. This process will be performed using a robot. After a round section of the person's skull is removed, the robot will come in and place the tiny wires into a specific area in the brain's outer layer. Note that these will not go deep into the tissue. It only needs a couple of millimeters to tap into the neural network of electrical signals. Consider it all done in a couple of hours. It is certain that the world's billionaire is an expert in artificial intelligence, and he has people looking for him. This skill set will eventually be applied at Neuralink, but we still do not know where this will end. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed and see where it leads. Hey, if you're optimistic about the future of technology, do well and subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.